uh, that really made no sense. Uh, from the start, I thought it was wrong to pursue this policy of threatening to shut the uh, government down over defunding Obamacare. I've gone along with the votes up till now because I know that John Boehner does not want to shut the government down, and uh, I was assured that this was a process to keep the government open. Now we're down to the last 24, 48 hours, and it seems we're closer than ever to the government shutting down. So I, to me, if, if I think Harry Reid should accept the proposal that was made. If he doesn't, though, I don't want the government to shut down, and I don't see how I could vote again for any more amending to Obamacare. We have to keep the government open. There's too many innocent people involved here. That we have too many people in our party, it's a, it's a minority, who are following Ted Cruz and they're tying up the entire Republican Party. If this went to a vote on the House floor, the overwhelming majority of House members would vote to keep the government open. So I'm tired of having Ted Cruz call the shots for the House Republicans. I was kind of surprised when he talked that whole time that he didn't just read the bill into the record. You know, something that the American people might right. have watched and then learned what Obamacare actually meant for them. As someone that's on the Financial Services Committee, do you have an accurate sense of what Obamacare would cost now and if delaying it for a year would really put this country more on track economically? No, we're not sure of what the consequences are going to be, but we're very certain they're going to be very bad consequences. I mean, there's so many uh, right now full-time employees who are being uh, knocked back to uh, part-time. We have so many businesses and companies that have come to us and told us the tremendous economic impact it's going to have. So I am totally opposed to Obamacare, but to bring it up at the last minute, the way Ted Cruz has done, we should have been negotiating for the last several weeks on uh, changes we wanted to make to Obamacare, like in the medical device tax. I think we could have gotten that approved if that had been part of negotiation, but because of Ted Cruz, it was all or nothing. It was either defund Obamacare or uh, shut the government down, and we were locked into that. Now we're into the final 36 hours, and we have people in our party who live in their own echo chamber. They think everyone wants this done. The fact is, most people, like in my district, are totally opposed to Obamacare, but they don't want the government shut down. We have to show we can be a governing party and not just responding to uh, small factions. What options?